Katie Neal from Odyssey Country, and tonight we are here at our brand new studios at the Hard Rock Cafe Nashville with five-time Entertainer of the Year, Mr. Luke Bryan. Five, baby. <laughs> Somehow I made that happen. You did. Thank you so much for being here tonight. No, this is fun. We've, um, I mean, literally I've been in the woods in the spring, Tennessee. Yeah. A couple of allergies, but uh, we, we've been turkey hunting with, uh, had my boys and some of their buddies come in, and uh, it's been, been been a fun weekend. Speaking of allergies, can we finish the conversation we started to have last week? What? About your... Oh, my bass fishing allergy. I mentioned this to someone at the record label. They're like, he's not allergic to bass. And I was like, no, he is. No, I took Allegra it's today. unbelievable, though. And if I, I caught, I actually caught bass today. And, you know, so just so we know, um, if... If I do interviews and I look like I've been smoking pot, it's that's not true. I've been catching bass. So you're allergic to just <laughs> you're literally allergic to touching a bass. If this I is what touch you're a bass, me. I will, my eyes will get red. My my um like my hands will swell if I have to take the hook out. So I'll uh, I'll take like an Allegra, and I'll get in front of it. I'm like I know I'm going to fish today. So I'll take an Allegra in the morning. you spent years not knowing like, yeah, what it was. Yeah, I spent years not knowing my dad would take me on these fishing trips. And, you know, I'm in the back of the boat, like, wheezing, like, in need of um, maybe like an EpiPen. <laughs> you know, never, uh, my dad was just like. Suck it up. So we just thought it was just like allergy, you know, like so the wild. trees. But it's actually touching the bass. And, you know, since I've, I've told some people and, you know, I'm not. You know, I'm not all alone in that. Some other people have had. Oh, I bet but, there's a bunch of country boys who are all like, wait, what? That's what that is? <laughs> so maybe I can bring awareness. Yeah. Luke's new foundation for bass fishing allergy. My new foundation <laughs> is those, those who've been uh, cursed um, by the touch of, it's really sunfish, like a brim, uh, a, uh, you know, a shell cracker. Do you, yeah, these? No, no, yeah. I was, yeah. There's a lot of lot of lot of internal names for fish. Bluegill. I know that one. Bluegill is a more Illinois reference, but any of those things, yeah, they wipe me out pretty good. It's too funny. Well, listen, we're really excited to have this you here tonight. Awesome. We're going to do a totally private show. Our winners are here from Chicago. They are so excited to get to see you. And I'm just curious, like Luke. Young Luke, pre-global country music superstar. If you were gonna like win a private show with somebody, who would oh, you? Oh gosh, if I were gonna win, living, living or dead, uh, whatever it would have been uh, probably Conway Twitty. Oh, that would have to sit cool. there and listen to Conway would have, it would have freaked me out. <laughs> it would have been awesome. Like I did a, I did a Conway Twitty education on on somebody this week. It was another country star that really hadn't did the deep Conway mm -hmm. Twitty dive. And uh, they called me back and they're like, thank you for sending me down that. Was uh, I'm not throwing that okay, person. I don't know, maybe no, I'm not, I'm not telling <laughs> you know the country story. I respect that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm keeping everybody. <laughs> not burning any bridges, getting any trouble right, today. Right. I appreciate that. Well, like I said, we really appreciate you being here, especially with Idol being in full swing. I was actually thinking about you last week when Chase Beckham got his first number one after for, the show, because I feel like you really took him under your wing. And well, that what was really amazing exciting. is on the drive in today, we saw a Chase Beckham billboard Aww. with his with his uh, handsome little face. <laughs> and uh, so, no, I mean, you know, and Idol is airing right now. So um, if this were live, then my parents would be very confused <laughs> that how can I be two places at once? Because the they still that. don't understand when I'm pre-taped and when I'm live. But, you know, that's just family problems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think I've said this to you before, but I just love so much what you guys have done with this like new version of the show with you, Katie and Lionel. Like I talk to people all the time who are like, I watched American Idol the other night and I was like sobbing. Like it's just so beautiful. Yeah, I mean I think just the 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 ability to t the ability to spend the time with the kids to tell the stories mm -hmm. in the background and really dive in and not it, it I think part of um, a big thing about being an artist is people gotta know your story and what you're yeah. about and where you're from. And when the songs tell all that story, that's one thing. But then when, so Idol does a great job at really um, diving in there and, and 
like I said, going to these kids' hometowns and showing real American life, and yeah. uh, it, it's fun to watch. It's really I was, I, you know, I was watching. Um, my wife Caroline was on the couch watching as I as I left to come down here, and uh, she will, you know, she'll tell me where I got some things right and where I got some things wrong when I get home. <laughs> she gives you notes. She well, not yeah, just you know. Just, you know, positive criticisms. Yeah, <laughs> which is great. Because I remember, like, when you were first going on the show, you were, like, feeling really nervous about being on TV all that much. Do you feel like now that's well, second I nature? Talk, naturally, a nervous habit of mine is to talk too much. <laughs> so now I've, I've, I've learned to just... Uh, just shut up when I need to, and, and <laughs> let somebody let let somebody else uh, step in the trap. How did you feel about hearing the news that Katie was leaving? Um, you know, I, I had um, I thought she might be, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel that um, she's been just a rock star on the show, and to have developed um, a friendship and um. And then to work, you know, when you're working along um, aside somebody like that, you know, it, it, you got to trust each other and you got to yeah. help each other out on the rough days. And we, we've had a great time together. And like I said, it's um, when I took the idle gig, I knew that she was, um, she had already um, signed up to do it and um, didn't know her. And, you know, seven years later to have spent so much time with her has been, been pretty awesome. She's, she's a trip. And we've, uh, you know, for me to be a friend of hers from, I mean, heck, through her pregnancy, yeah. and, you know, watching her, uh, you know, grow into motherhood and from start to finish and just watching, watching how sweet she is to to uh, Daisy and uh, it's been a fun ride and you know we'll I think she knows when whenever she's in Nashville to hit hit me up and and vice versa I always need good restaurant recommendations from her yeah exactly well that's super fun and then I know you've got so much going on you got the new song that just came out like right. miss you mean it which feels like the perfect like Luke Bryan mid-tempo summertime song it feels we right yeah what has the reaction been like since the song came out you know all my all my you know everybody's like my family's like, oh, you, oh, you put another song out. It's good. You know, nobody loves on me. Nobody, <laughs> nobody tells me what I need to hear anymore. Yeah, they're like, you get I enough just, of that. You know, it's like, it's like, um, just back to changing diapers and stuff. You know, no, I'm yeah. playing, but uh, <laughs> no. The main thing is, you know, I think everybody's excited about it, and, and to hear um, people talk about like, um. It's kind of like vintage or stand, you know, one of a, my little my standards or whatever my standards are, as far as songs. It's fun to hear everybody um, say that, and I think you know when I look at sixteen, seventeen years of doing this, just um, there's been a lot of songs to put out, and sometimes I do some songs that you know I try something and the fans like them, and then sometimes the fans are like, "What is he up to?" <laughs> and then uh, so, but. This one's kind of like right down my wheelhouse, and yeah. uh, I'm excited to have that out. I was going to ask you what you're thinking about now next. Now you got like 30 number ones, a successful TV career. Like, what is next in the Luke Bryan legacy? You know, I mean, my thing is just have fun writing songs and have fun doing the shows. I mean, I think for 10 years I've just overworked myself, like, to where all my friends, when I see them, they're like, you're overworking yourself. And I'm like, I know, I can't. I can't tell people no, but you know now just you know managing um, managing the flow. I've been home uh, four weekends in a row. I've been home. That's nice. And I'm I've sure. not done that in seventeen or eighteen years. And I'm sure the boys are loving. Well, that. and they do. And I spent the weekend with them. And um, Bo, my he just turned sixteen, and we were at the house last night, and. Uh, um, we were we were cooking crawfish, and you know he don't like crawfish, and he wanted smash burgers, and I said, well we don't have hamburger meat, and he goes, well can I drive to the store, and, and I'm like, listen if you want a smash burger, drive to the store, go buy you some hamburger meat and all the, you know all the little ingredients, and 
he came and made his own smash burgers because he's 16 and he can do what the hell he wants it's now. a new season of life for you it's he can right. start taking like, care of himself hey you know it's like if you, if you want it drive to it <laughs> 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 but we uh, no, we had a good weekend. But that that's the main thing. Yeah, a, a nice balance of work, family, and um, and trying to um, get over this damn fish allergy. <laughs> We're looking for a cure for Luke's bass fish there allergy. We go. We're looking for a cure. Luke Bryan, thank you so much for coming here and for thank doing you. this. Like I said, we really appreciate your time. Thank you.